good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast laser project. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, I entered a Facebook contest and check out what ComGrow sent me. Obviously, it's going to be a bit, and it's pretty large. Let's quickly slice our way in. Check it out honeycomb bed fits on the table absolutely awesome the end caps are removable which is nice because that way you can empty the tray because eventually you will have debris underneath there especially the way I cut my keychains now this of course would fit a larger laser I've only got 400 by 400 but it is kind of nice because it rests right on top of that it is not completely on in the back but it is definitely going to function the way I want it also is nice because it's real easy to line this up and make sure that you've got it square alright everybody this is four millimeter cardboard that I get from my cut from our school lunchroom these are computer magnets if you get one that grabs too strong, you'll need to find something else to lift it off with, like I just did pliers. But you can see that really nicely holds my cardboard in place for us to do our cut. We do need to get the material height set correct. Remember friends, I have went to the strategy where I put three little layers underneath, and then I can loosen, set this up, and then when I pull those out, that slides in and out just like you'd expect it to. And I love how this stores in the controller. This, friends, is my tiny jet project. These holes are four millimeters thick, which means our cardboard's gonna slide in, and we're gonna have a fun little jet that is launchable. We can customize where the wing slides forward or back for a center of gravity, add clay up here, and of course there's a cardboard launcher, so we actually get to launch it. If we go over here to cuts and layers, we're gonna do one pass, I'm going to take this down to 350, 100% power. Real quickly, let's move to a spot where we can cut. I'm going to do shift nudge to get it to a spot where I want it. I think that's fantastic. Let's hit frame and see if it stays in the camera window. That is absolutely fantastic, friends. I'm grabbing some safety glasses and let's make something magical. Alrighty friends, let's see how well this cut out. <laughs> Bingo! That my friends is buttery smooth. Now remember, your cardboard may be different. You'll have to learn the characteristics of your cardboard. I am going to also tell you, make sure you stay with your laser cutter because you do not want it to flame up while you're cutting because, of course, cardboard is flammable. All right, so here is how assembly goes. You simply slide your wing through. When you get to the groove, that's what allows you to slide it forward and back. Now my cardboard is a little thinner than the four millimeters I usually have, so there's a little wiggle. You pick a spot that you like, and then you tape your wing in place. This allows you to experiment and find better centers of gravity for flying. I'm gonna just choose that spot right there. Locks it in place pretty well. And then of course we also need to put on the tail fin this doesn't have options for how far you slide it, so you could actually glue this in. You may not want to though, because you might want to try a larger horizontal stabilizer as well. 
I'm going to actually tape this from the underside. And then while we're standing here, I'm going to show you that this is the spot you launch from. Uh, in class, I saw students grab this and it always would pop off. So I actually grab the tail fin for launch. The final adjustment we make is to add some clay to the front end. You can use whatever sort of modeling clay you have. And then of course you'll be able to experiment until you find the exact right amount. If you've got a scale, you can even weigh this to keep track of your data. Friends, this is the launcher. It is also a Tinkercad project and we laser cut it out of cardboard. Of course I'll make sure there's a link to that video as well. You can see this is how it hooks in, it pulls back, and boom, launch number one. I liked how it flew straight and level, so I'm pretty happy with that. And with a higher launch angle, check it out, we're flying. Friends, this is where it starts to get really awesome, because you can make your own custom aircraft using the skills that we have here. And then of course you can laser cut and test as many designs as you want out of cardboard that you can probably find from anywhere. Friends, of course, I hope you totally enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.